So we manufacture uh, fuel injection and hydraulic tubing. We do a lot of other things too, but uh, we specialize in, in uh, fluid carrying tubing and usually fluids under pressure. Um, that might be from very small pressures to tens of thousands of PSI. So most of that tubing goes on really big equipment, on engines and mining, locomotives, uh, really large equipment that has a lot of hydraulics on, on it. And uh, usually pretty high ticket items and pretty demanding applications, so there's high quality standards. And, uh, most of the household names in big equipment manufacturing, whether it's mining, locomotive, or agriculture, so cat, Komatsu, deer, just to name a couple on that, but many, many customers. So we're a merchant supplier to the industry. We're just under 70,000 square feet here. So when we get out on the shop floor, and um, all of the building to the west is part of that new addition, as is this office space uh, here. So. That was a big help because we were very full <laughs> from the factory prior to that. So it, uh, it was actually um, limiting what kind of business we could take because uh, physical capacity wise. So the additional floor space was, was really, really helpful. Okay. And how did that affect your employment? So it's gone up and you know the amount of sales have gone up and over the course of time we, we keep adding to that. And uh, we still, we run primarily one shift. Uh, we run four 10-hour days on the shop floor. So we've got that Friday um, to flex on and flex off, and that helps with uh, keeping stability uh, in our workforce and that. But uh, we also could do shift work, so we've got plenty of uh, potential here as far as uh, growth potential.